Is it ready? Not yet. Here you go. We are back now. So I checked the noodles. They are soft. Would you like to try a noodle? Sure. Not a mushroom. I know. Let's see. Hot. Hot. Okay. It's good. There's Caden. He is a cranky little baby lately. He has not been sleeping very often. So now I'm doing the cashew butter. I'm just mixing it up because it has a lot of oil in it. And I'm putting it in here. So I'm doing a third cup of cashew butter. Don't touch it. That. This one looks really dark for cashew butter. So, I'm actually not going to add it right this second. I'm going to. So I'm going to keep this on standby. Keep mixing this in. And it is looking much better than what it started at. Okay, I'll show you guys. It's looking better for sure. And the juice has almost disappeared. I can't really see because the steam, but and so I'm just keep checking the, the noodles and I'm seeing kind of like, you know, the consistency of that because you want them to be like soft, not all hard because then that would be not delicious. So my phone would be low battery. Okay. So I'm also on standby. So I have a third cup of cashew butter, some parsley. I actually have this one too. I think I'm going to use this one. Lightly dried parsley. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of lemon juice. Wait, did I add enough? I'm not sure I put enough beef thing. Um, and then for the beef, this is the one I used. So I put in four cups of water, and then I waited till it started boiling, and I put in um, four teaspoons. So it's one te teaspoon per one cup of water. So I did that. Once it's boiling, you put this in. This is going to make a beef, a beef broth. It's not a beef broth. It's a veggie broth. So you can see up close just what it looks like. It's going to taste like beef, but it's not beef. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Keeping that here. And I am stirring still. And I'm just waiting for the liquid to become a little bit less um, liquidy. So I'm just waiting a little bit longer. I am going to try a noodle on here. Still a little hard. Just a little. So I'm going to continue mixing it. I could probably put a little a lid over it a little bit. Just to help. Um, so I'm making mushroom stroganoff. And, oh, I should probably show you. I put on, actually, no, I put on my story um, all the recipes used. Um, so I'll just wait for more people to join because um, it just keeps going up. So I was mixing up the cashew butter and I put it in. So I'm keeping a third cup on the side. Get this all out of the spoon.
Um, I probably might end up adding a little bit more nutritional yeast as well because I just love adding nutritional yeast and I feel like it also gives that cheesy and it's so good on pasta, that cheesy kind of thick flavor. I should scroll down. Um, and then I'm going to try to find out how I can actually put in the recipe to send it. Um, yeah, so then it's easier for you guys, so it's not just me telling you. It's probably a little difficult that way. But I just wanted you to see kind of like how I was making it. And it's, it's quick. It's only like a 20-minute recipe. Um, and it's all in one pot, which is good. So you're not doing multiple pots and doing noodles here and sauce here. It's all going in together. So, And it's healthy and tastes somewhat delicious. What's going on, Kaden? All right, let's try. to officially now I'll show you what it looks like now the consistency so there's a little bit of liquid left not that much mix that up we are going to turn off the heat completely and we are going to add the well, one third of cashew butter into the pan. I don't have enough. I need to build a little setup here so I can do this better. Let me get my spoon. So we're just throwing this cashew butter in here. This is going to make that have that creamy consistency. I'm actually excited to eat this. it looks like so we're mixing the cashew butter in and now it's getting thicker and thicker and Ryan hates mushrooms but we're gonna see if he can try to you know overcome that so we're mixing that in see look how creamy that looks yum, 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 yum. We are going to finish it off with a little bit of salt and pepper, a little more. So I'm just gonna do some fresh brown pepper. Nice, I can see the pot. And then I'm gonna do one more Yeast just because I like that a lot. So I'm just going to sprinkle this over. Yeah. I am going to throw in some fresh parsley. Just sprinkle it on over. Voila. I didn't do the salt. This is just some Himalayan sea salt. And I'm going to mix again. And I will show you what it looks like. And obviously put as much salt and pepper as you'd like. delicious wow see no cream no dairy nothing but looks amazing mushrooms in it so it's full of vitamins 
Healthy. Wow. Yes. Oh, yes. You guys will have to try this. All right. So, that is the vegan plant based mushroom stroganoff. I will figure out how to put the actual recipe link in Instagram. So, there is your finished version of the mushroom vegan stroganoff. Looks insane. And that was my first cooking live video. Probably didn't go as planned, but um, yeah, I'll figure out other things to make and let me know if there's anything you would like me to make. Um, I like to do a lot of healthy things, so thank you for watching and yeah, have a good night.